ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy White Album here, and man, I've got another reaction trailer for you guys today. It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns official announcement trailer. If you have not been on Twitter right now, the MK community is practically blowing up, bro. We saw we saw who the characters are. We saw some a pretty cool thing that they they're they're bringing back that we haven't seen since what M, uh, UMK three. Hopefully they show it off in this trailer, but I believe this is also the uh, uh, DLC story trailer as well, man. So I am super hyped at the current moment, man. I am legit super hyped. I know what from from what I've seen so far on Twitter, a lot of people are not happy with some of the guest characters that we got but if you haven't seen it yet you're about to see it for the first time now man let's get into it ladies and gentlemen before we get in man let's see okay yep quality's up there perfect make sure i don't blow my eardrums out all right here we go ladies and gents Woo! oh i'm so hyped i'm so hyped because there's there's one thing they brought back that i'm finally that i'm happy that i've been asking for for like years now that i thought they were going to bring back to mk11 they didn't but I'm I'm just I'm happy that they brought it back though. So here we go, and gents, in three, two, one. Oh, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, there we go. That chaos. Oh, look at Havoc, man. Titan, I want I would wish that skin was Havoc, not that ugly ass skin. Look at that head. That shit. That's so sick. Does he have comic dogus on his chest? What the hell? <gasps> there she is. Sector. Okay. We saw I saw this already. Dude, she looks actually pretty sick. Oh, hold on. That's not it looks like it's not a it's a suit. It's not a robot. Okay. Oh, Sector or Cyrex. Damn, okay. What the fuck? She's got the explode the foam. There she got bomb setups. Okay, damn, okay. Oh, she's got the scion fucking flip kick. There he is! Fucking noob cybot. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. So he's not dead, he's an experiment. Damn. Oh, shit! Oh, look at the stage! Brand new stage! First Shang Tsung, now this Havoc. Oh, he does have fucking comic dog. Who was that? This would be that is not like Katana. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a suit. It's not an actual full-on robot. Who is that? Okay, that's kind of fun. Okay. Oh, Takeda! Yeah, he's got Kami Dogu. Okay, show off the characters, man. Show off the characters. Do you like scary movies? Oh, Ghostface. Okay. I know my brother's hype. He loves Ghostface. T1000, yeah, we ever saw him. And fucking Conan. Insane. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. That's legit a day after my birthday. Hold on. Oh my dude, the DLC comes out a day after my birthday. That's insane. Oh, here it is, ladies and gents. Oh crap! Yes! Oh, it's a hit though! Oh, it's Garrus! Yes, dude. Oh, 
dude? Okay, I saw that on Twitter already. It makes sense that Melina is the praying mantis funny enough. Yes, dude. Yes. Yeah. Yes, dude. Oh, I'm so fucking happy. I'm so fucking happy, ladies and gents. You don't understand, dude. I've been waiting for animalities for so fucking long, man. It's just, it's insane to me that we had, we, if you remember in MK11, Kotal Khan, he essentially had an animality for one of his, for one of his fatals. He had an animality where he turned into the panther. And I thought that, I thought they were going to bring it back there, animalities back into, um, into MK11, but they never did. They brought back friendships, but yes, dude, I think this is the most hype that I am for, okay, like, I, I won't, take no mistake, I fucking... I will say right now, even though I play it a lot, I fucking hate MK1. Okay, hate's a strong word. I'm not the biggest fan of MK1 at the current moment. But I've been waiting for animalities to come back for so fucking long, dude. And, oh, yes, dude. They brought them back. They brought back animalities. That That is what, that is the, I think that's the single thing I'm most hyped for is animalities. I really don't care about the, I mean, obviously, Ghostface is sick as shit. I love scary movies. I, uh, I love Scream. Probably one of my favorite uh, horror movie uh, movies out there. Um, Noob Cyborg looks sick as shit. Don't get me wrong. So it looks like instead of being instead of Behom being dead, he's actually Noob Cyborg is made from the essence of Behom, which is pretty sick. Conan's a little weird. Um, I kind of wish I actually got somebody else. I know everybody was talking about. Uh, what's her name? The Bride from Kill Bill. I actually would have preferred her instead. And then T-1000. Come on now. We had Terminator and MK-11. Now we have the T-1000 and MK-1. Also, that's insane. We have Arnold twice. Arnold shows up in two games. Terminator, MK-11, and now Conan the Barbarian and MK-1. Hopefully he actually voices him this time. That would be sick. But the animalities is what I was the most excited for when I saw it on Twitter. Because they showed off... Um, they showed, there was a screenshot of uh, Melina's, which she, which you just saw. She turns into the praying mantis, and we just saw Reigns that they showed off, uh, where he turns into the blowfish. But dude, we saw a fucking gorilla. We saw the wolves. We saw a dinosaur skeleton. We saw a hippopotamus. Oh, dude, I, oh my lord, I, I. This is the hypest I've been in a long time for this game, dude. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, this is the hypest I've been for this game, all because of animalities. They brought back animalities. That's the only thing I actually think I give a shit about. Though, I will say the one thing I actually find that's pretty cool. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's play this, see if there's anything else here at the end. Besides combat pack one. Ooh, okay. Wedding Scorpion. Okay, we're finally getting a UMK3 Sub-Zero. Empress Melina. And then UMK3 Noob Cybot. Okay, 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 okay. Anything else? Yes. Look at that. Oh. You guys don't understand how high I am for animalities. You really don't understand. I became a huge fan of animalities when I seen Cyrax turn into the fucking shark back in the day. That was my favorite animality, bro. To this day, that is still my favorite animality. I'm telling you right now, when they come out, I'm doing animality every fucking time, no matter what. You guys are probably gonna get tired of it. I'm probably gonna get tired of it too, but I, I'm so fucking happy, dude, that animalities are back. I really am. I, I really am, dude. It's probably one of my favorite because I didn't care for too much about babalities back in MK9. Friendships were pretty cool, yeah. Obviously, we're always gonna have brutalities, but the animalities, I think, were, were, it was some of like the craziest kooky shit that they came up with back in the 90s. It was, it was UMK3, right, that, that the animalities came out in? But here we are, man, years later, that we finally have animalities back. After just years of everybody, including me, saying, bring back animalities, they finally brought them back. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. All right. Okay. Sorry. Available to all players on release. The pre I guess we're talking about when Chaos Reigns comes out. Anything else? Okay, that's it. Mortal Kombat was a mess. Yeah, well, okay, hold on. Because I want to see... The, I just want to go back to these animalities real quick. Okay, hold on. Because, okay. 
Who the hell is the hyena? Okay, Garrus is the hippopotamus. You can see the eye and then like the, his markings, which is pretty sick. <laughs> Who's the gorilla? Oh, apparently this one is Quan Chi from what I read on Twitter. Uh, the, the fucking dinosaur is fucking Quan Chi. You can kind of tell by the green smoke here. All right, who's the wolves? It's Ermac. I think it's Ermac because of the spectral wolf here. Scorpion is obviously the scorpion. Makes sense. The puffer fish is rain. You saw that one on Twitter. <laughs> and then, yeah, I also saw this. Melina is the uh, praying mantis. That's sick. But let's, let's go to these. Uh, let's go back to the character packs here. Again, I'm actually really hyped for Ghostface because, again, I scare. Uh, Scream is like, especially the first movie. Scream One is like one of my all-time favorite horror movies. I love it, or slashers, I guess you could say. Here we go, Ghostface T1000. Conan, I think we could do without, in my honest opinion, but he looks sick as shit. Dude, okay, that that I mean that looks pretty sick as shit. But I will say the one thing I do like though about Cyrex and Sector that they're not robots. It's like a suit. It's like an Iron Man, Kamen Rider type suit. I fuck with that actually. I really fuck with that heavy. That's actually really sick. So they're like Cyber Lin Kuei, but they're not fully cyberized. It's just, a, it's like a suit of armor. I actually kind of like that. That's actually really sick. That's actually really sick. Noob Cyball looks sick as shit. It's funny because everybody says he looks like a pirate and he kind of does with his little headband here or like it's like headwear here but oh oh i'm sorry i'm still like fanboying over here about the animalities man oh dude i mean yeah look at t1000 look, everybody else looks like you got like the mystical shit right here you got the, the robotic chinese influence here the shirtless man this robe and then you have a man in a fucking police costume <laughs> which is great uh I bet you, yeah, he's gonna play sick as shit. Want to know what they're gonna do with him? And I feel like he's, I feel like Conan is gonna play more like Kotal, in my opinion. But so far, what we saw from the girls here, I know everybody's not the biggest fan of the gender swap. Of course, everybody's not gonna be the biggest fan of the gender swap. You know, I'll be honest, I don't really care. I like, don't get me wrong, I love sect out of the cyborgs. My favorite will always be Sector. I will always love Sector. He was my main back in MK9. If you can call him on my main, because I didn't really play the game like that. But I loved him, especially his uh, Scarecrow fatality that he had. Um, but it's cool that they're back, you know? I think it, I think it's, it's sick. They kind of pulled like a Janet where we thought it was going to be, okay. It's like, oh, okay, Johnny's going to be a cameo. It's like, oh, wait, it's a female version of Johnny. Okay. So they kind of did the same thing here with the, with the cyborgs where they're they're female this time along instead of, instead of males. Um, again, I... I know a lot of people I know for a lot of the MK community is gonna probably bother them I'm like the one person that doesn't really give a shit as long as they play good I don't give a fuck how they look I actually kind of like their designs um though I do say they kind of like bionicles if you guys remember those I haven't had one of those since I was a kid um they look sick though they look sick obviously I'm gonna be playing Cy uh, Sector because again Sector is one of my favorite like top five all-time favorite MK characters next to like Sub-Zero and shit like that so it's, it's actually pretty cool. So I, I really want to see how they... I think the coolest thing I want to see is their interaction with uh, uh, with Kwai Liang and Smoke. Because, you know, obviously Smoke and Scorpion, they kind of defected from the Lin Kuei. Um, so that's going to be an interesting like fight between those two. I actually can't really... I actually can't wait for the intros between those two. Between these two and uh, Scorpion and Smoke. That's actually going to be pretty sick. But again, man... I'm just happy that the animalities are here, dog. Like, I'll be honest, I don't really give a shit about the, the story. I'll be honest. It's pretty cool. I wish we'd have gotten that outfit for Havoc instead. I think that's the coolest uh, Titan skin in the game. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. We got like that ugly ass one. I'll be honest, that that Havoc Order of Darkness skin that we got is fucking ugly. Hold on, quick. It's fucking ugly. I don't think it's great at all, but but the the tie-in havoc skin i wish we would have got that one instead and we might be getting it for havoc when this uh, dlc drops and dude it drops the 24th literally a day after my birthday i, I was born 
uh september 23rd so that's a that's a cool little uh birthday present you know <laughs> a day late birthday present where we get a, a new uh combat pack and new story dlc um uh but yeah man i think that i think the most thing i think the thing i'm most hype about is the animalities bro the animalities is what i'm truly excited for man because again i've always loved animalities and i'm happy they're bringing them back dude i'm legit happy i think we're gonna end it off with that right there right there on that screen there <laughs> oh just looking at it it just it just oh it just it's just making me grin ear to ear i fucking love it man i love it i'm so glad they're bringing back animalities dude i'm so glad so you know what before i end it let's watch this one more time why not let's watch it one more time let me stop fawning over animalities let's watch this one more time that's how we're gonna end it off man let's get it let's get it let's get it and we're gonna try uh, or I, I guess I'll, I'll i'll watch it one more time but i kind of pause it here and there to see what i missed all the havocs like come on we didn't get this havoc come on look how fucking sick this havoc skin looks come on now come on we got this one right here ah oh, shit oh, hold on like we got this one right here like this is but ugly this is a horrible skin in my the worst i think it's the worst skin in the game uh, in my opinion but dude we could have had this one really come on nrs we could have had that and you gave us that other dog shit one yeah but it looks like he has like kami dogus embedded into his skin i'm assuming that's what they are those had to be kami dogus right at least this timeline's version of the kami dogus That's like Garrus. There's Bihan. Sector. Yeah, you can kind of see where it's like a suit. I kind of actually like that. I'll be honest, I like that. I actually like that it's a suit and not a full cyberization. I think that's pretty sick. Oh, excuse me. So I, I want to see more of her gameplay real quick. Huh. Ooh, she looks sick. Psych to or Cyrax, she looks like a shit. Oh, okay, hold on. I, I want to point something out. Ooh, okay, this is what I wanted to point out. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I want. What I'm thinking so far about what happens during this uh, scene. Yo, Cyberpunk looks sick. I love the little, like, grab with the feet. It reminds me of, if you ever played, um, like, Melty Blood or uh, Uni Clear or, like, uh, Undernight, there's a character named Scion, and she has, like, that kind of, like, air grab where she does with her fucking legs, and she just pile drives you to the ground over and over. It, that's what it reminds me of. That's pretty sick. Okay, so right here. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Dude, Noob actually looks pretty sick. You sound like Bihan. Okay, that was that was Lee May. As you remember, what did Havoc do to you? He perfected me. That's a brutality. Oh, we see Scorpion with the scar. Let's go. Yeah, look at this stage. This is the uh, fire temple, but it's legit legitimately on fire. <laughs> okay, so he had that where he does like the the teleport. He hasn't had that move since MK9. Uh. Who is that? I want to know who's this voice. Who's this voice? Is that supposed to be Melina? Or is that- that doesn't- it sounds like Melina and or Katana. But it, the voice is too high-pitched to be either of those two. This would be amusing. Cyrus kind of looking like a baddie. 
She's looking like a baddie though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You can hate it all you want, but she a baddie. <laughs> Oh, hold on, I want to see Sector's fit. Is that- Hold on, did I just see Johnny in a fucking, like, World War II outfit? Okay, actually, I want to slow this down real quick. I want to see her face. Uh, let's do that real quick. So it doesn't sound like some weird shit in my ear. Okay. See Noob Cybot fighting. He looks like a shit. Uh, that was sick. <laughs> yeah, that is Johnny. What does she look like? She looks like she'll fuck your day up. <laughs> Again, I actually like that it's a suit of armor. I really like that. I think that's actually really sick. I think that's really sick. I think that outfit for Johnny is fucking insane. If you can't see it, let me move my head. <laughs> but that, that World War II, World War I style outfit for Johnny is actually pretty fucking sick. I hope, I actually kind of hope they add it to the game. But, okay, Sector. Oh, hold on. Mm, okay, we got... Uh, we got Kwai Liang fighting the shadow of his brother. How do we this I don't Who is that? Who's talking like that? Who the fuck is that? Whose voice is that? Okay, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. So it looks like because at the end of the trailer that said a, a wedding scorpion wedding day scorpion so scorpion in this scene's actually getting married to harumi okay and then it looks like the lin Kuei attack that's pretty sick but from what we saw apparently harumi can fuck shit up so hopefully hopefully ed boone don't kill her off come on now <laughs> oh okay so Either they're training against each other using using the suits, or Cyrax actually betrayed the Lin Kuei this time as she's joining Scorpion. Because throughout the years between uh or some uh, Kwai Liang at least, between Kwai Liang, Sector, and Cyrax, uh Kwai Liang and Cyrax always had like a pretty close connection. We even saw that in MK11 in the story mode. Where it's like Cyrax is like, yo, I didn't want to become this, so I'll help you stop the Cyberlin Quay. So this scene could either show either the two options to this scene. Cyrax and Sector are fighting each other, or they're training. It's one of those two. But we'll see when the story drops. The Lin Kuei. Make no mistake, we are here because of your treachery. Y'all look at they'll stop Takita. But the way she said it, it sounds like, well, I mean, obviously she, she could probably have a change of heart in the story, but uh, it, it, I want to, I really want to see the relationship between these, like, okay, I, damn, I want, like, you got me hyped because, man, we haven't, we got, let's be honest, we got robbed in MK11. We got robbed of MK11. We had Sector and Cyrax with possibly the best designs they've ever had. Even then, I think their designs now are okay. MK1's designs are okay. MK11's are peak. The, the the designs for Cyrax and Sector and MK11 are peak, dog. Like they're like the, the, the tip of Everest. And we did not get those guys as playable characters. We got fucking robbed. Okay. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because of your treachery. Yeah, we saw Takeda there. There's probably another fatality here for Noob Cybot. There will be blood. But I think that's where we end it right there, man. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, what a what an action-packed trailer, man. Look, no matter what we say about NRS, they I think they deliver 10 out of 10 trailers all the time. I think they to me, this is arguably this could be you can argue this all you want. I think when it comes to gameplay trailers and whatnot nrs has everybody beat they beat capcom they beat fucking bandai namco when it, when it just comes to these type of trailers in my opinion nrs can just cannot be beat bro cannot be beat they just they just can't be beat in my opinion man but um yeah uh trailers great characters look great man again i kind of wish they didn't bring conan personally i don't i don't think we should have got conan we should have got the bride from uh, kill bill instead I would have preferred that, but 
Animalities, baby. They're coming, and I'm here for them. I'm fucking 100%. I, I can't wait to see katanas, man. I can't wait to see katanas. I can't wait to see Ashras. Uh, I can't wait to see Sindels. Um, who, other, who else do I play? Uh, can't wait to see uh, Liu Kang's. I don't think we saw Liu Kang's. Obviously, Liu Kang's is going to be a fucking dragon. Come on now, it's Liu Kang. Hell, when you think about it, Liu Kang back in MK9 had an animality when he turned into the dragon. That, that was his animality. But Animal is back. We got Combat Pack 2s here. And it all comes out September 24th, 2024. Which is a month away. Because we're already at the tail end of uh, July. We just, we just have to sit it out through uh, August. And yay, we got... We're going to be seeing trailers for... Um, who I, they don't they didn't say who's going to be the first character to be released though. We don't know if it's going to be Ghost Faced or we we don't know if it's going to be either Cyrex or Sector. But we'll see we'll see man we'll see and uh, hopefully they'll give us some more customization options. I don't know. I have to check on Twitter after this. But again man I'm I'm hyped I'm hyped for animality. That's the number one thing I'm most hyped for about in this trailer is animalities man. I could go day in and day out telling you how much I love animalities dude. Um, but I, I don't want to keep going on with this video. I'm pretty sure this video is longer than it really needs to be. But animalities really just took me, bro. I'm, I'm happy they're back. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, man. That's going to be it for your boy. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Again, it's going to be your boy, White Album. I will see you guys next time.